Hey y'all, so today's video is a little bit of an experimental one for me. I think that the experiment went okay. I know that it didn't go flawlessly because I've already taken a look at some of the footage, but I think it went well enough for me to actually go through with posting the video and I hope that you guys will enjoy watching it. So here's what happened. The clothing rental subscription service, Newly, which I have had some experience with and I, I really enjoyed my experience with Newly, so it was exciting to me when this happened. Newly reached out and offered me a free month. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I would lo love a free month of Newly because it's actually something that I've been wishing that I could do, like rent some clothes to just enliven my YouTube presence, like wear a couple of different and, you know, maybe some dramatic things on YouTube. But it's something that we haven't really been able to fit into my YouTube channel budget for the second half of the year. Joe and I are still kind of like figuring out how, how our budget our personal budget and my YouTube channel budget is gonna look because we're in flux right now. Once the chips settle, I'm really hoping that I will be able to budget for clothing rental as part of my YouTube channel budget. But for the time being, I haven't been able to do it. So the timing couldn't have been better. I was so excited. And then when the box arrived, when my newly arrived, my first impulse was to go and get Julia and for us to open the box together and try on all of the clothes together. This is Julia's house. If you don't know, I'm currently living in my friend's house. So I think that the reason that I wanted to do that with her is that it's something that I miss doing. We used to do that a couple of times a year. We'd go out to the shops, we'd get big armfuls of clothes and go in the dressing room together and try on all the clothes and comment on each other and just have a fun time. And because of the pandemic, we haven't been able to do that this year. So this was a way of simulating that really fun thing that we used to do together. And I did say, like, do you want to come on and try on my newly? And then I was like, oh my gosh, we should film it. Because then it's not just Julia and me, it's not just the two of us getting to experience that kind of fun dressing room vibe together, but you guys will all be able to experience it with me. So this video is not sponsored. I'm sorry, I should have said that right up front. Newly, in fact, didn't even ask me to make content about it. There, there are no strings attached, which is how I prefer to do this kind of thing. Um, and I wasn't even really planning on doing like a whole Newly video. But then when I got the idea and I realized that I could make this kind of like dressing room party vibes video using the newly I was like oh yeah I'm definitely doing that the way in which it didn't work out super well is the sound I had to set things up differently so that we could get a floor to ceiling shot and I'm exper experimenting with using a different camera so I apologize in advance that the sound is probably not as crisp and clear as the sound usually is in my videos I wasn't using my usual mic but that's something that I think that we can troubleshoot I'm hoping that if I continue to do this kind of video the sound will improve it's always trial and error here on YouTube and it's always a little rough because in almost every case the trials and the errors all go live and then you just have to kind of improve as you move forward. I feel like that's a long enough introduction but I will briefly say if this is your first time to my channel, hello my name is Hannah. I love beautiful things but I'm not really about that overspending and overconsumption life so this channel is basically about keeping a balance. It's a place for people who really love beautiful things and they're, and they're not trying to like live without them completely, but you know, they don't want to forget about finances and, and forget about moderation. I think a lot of content on YouTube is designed to make you forget about financial health and moderation and I don't want to promote that. So if that sounds good to you, I hope you'll subscribe. Let's go ahead and get into the meat of the video.
second, Sadie is literally a baby. That's that's why you have the birth and hips. <laughs> yes, my, I have birth and hips because I birthed Sadie from my womb. Actually, this is the one Wait. I'm most curious about. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. Wait, one. do you? Is this also your favorite? I mean, weirdly, it's like the most practical. Oh well, yeah. If if I were buying this, I would definitely get a medium. I hate it when stuff is tight under my arms. Um, I mean, so I'm beautiful. not I'm not into it. <laughs> it's like, and this is the sort of thing that I would get, and then Holly would be like, "Why don't you buy this moon moon? It doesn't feel like <laughs> what do I ever wear heels?" Heels are how you make a moon moon awesome. I know. That's why I put them on. Yeah. See, now I like want to keep this dress. Yeah, I, that's a problem. <laughs> well, this is why I don't do those like rental services. I think this is what you do when you. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. One, two, three. <laughs> you look so cute! I probably look like I looked when I was seven in this exact dress. This fabric has a really nice, like, I love nub. That. It has like a nub to it, you know? It, it feels sturdy. This I'm gonna wear around the house while I have it, and that I'm only gonna wear for a YouTube video, I think. I feel like this is a very like special occasion dress. I wear a lot of dresses around the house, but they're kind of practical dresses that I don't mind getting dirty and that have pockets so I can, you know, put things on them and all that jazz, and this is like none of those things. This feels like if I were going to like a kind of alternative baptism I would wear this dress. I actually love the style. I was worried that it was gonna to be too constricting in the bust because a lot of the reviews said that, so I sized up to a medium. The fit is actually perfect. I love everything about it except the, the lining and the fabric. Yeah, it's like, it really feels like I'm wearing some sort of sleeping bag. <laughs> too big for you. Yeah, it is too big for me. It's, it's just not the thing. You also, know, I feel like it had a bow right here in the pictures and it's, Maybe the bow fell off. Well, point. I'm kind of okay with there not being a bow. I have to yeah, say. Me too. but I feel like there's something about like the busyness of the floral pattern, but there being so much of it. It's also so really long. long. I wouldn't want it to be longer than. Anything. Yeah, I think you're right. About and that. I don't know. Maybe this is erroneous, but I feel like on a person of my stature this much floral lawn is overwhelming. <laughs> it's not a bad dress. No, it's not a bad dress at all. It's just not a good dress for me. I, put my I feel like you were like, I've been cycling through the 90s fashion, but this is like the 1890s. Like. <laughs> it's sad because it's 100% a casualty of fabric, bad yeah. fabric choice, because the design is actually good, sad, sad. It feels like I'm in choir, in middle school. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> mm -mm, girl. It feels like <laughs> And this is like really not what I was hoping it would be. I feel like I I feel like I'm in the movie version of Cinderella. It's just not the same. I'm against it. I think I might grab this to wear around the house one day because it is 100 percent cotton. It's easy to wear. Because it's loose, I'm not gonna feel weird. I could cook in it and all this stuff, but it's like, it might be last. Do, do the fashion. Oh, right. The fashion. I can tell it's not going to be comfortable. Exactly. It's yeah. like going to be too hot. It's like the uncomfortable version of the sleeping bag. Like actually walking around in a sleeping bag is so up my alley. Not this sleeping bag. Yeah. I really like this. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited to wear this. You look like how I thought you would in that and you like it as much as I thought you would. That's my review. So. Yeah, this is not a good color for me. I disagree, but I just, I always think every color looks good on you. It's a little big, but I, I like that about it. I would wear this, I think, with more You wouldn't wear it with those pants. I'm shocking. shocking. And I feel like this is the sort of thing where if it, I'm not in this color, but I might like this is the sort of thing that I might get if I were getting a top because I could teach in it, but I can also wear it on the weekend. Yes, it's like professional and yeah, 
which is yeah, like my casual one. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. And I like, I actually like, this is really light fabric, way lighter than I was expecting. And I like that about it because it has very high impact. But the fabric is so lightweight that it is incredibly easy to wear. Like, I feel like I could go to like a sit around a campfire in this. It feels like wearing like a button up flannel. I mean, it feels mostly to me like you need to find a picture of Virginia Woolf wearing literally that outfit and yeah. then put it in the video. Yeah, like if I had lots of budget, I could, I could in theory see myself buying this, even though it's not usually my style plaid and stuff. I'm not doing that. Okay, now you. Here I am, not doing that. Here's a shirt. This looks really good on you, I feel. I really like it. And I also feel like this it works really well with the pants because it goes along with the rules of print mixing. The way that you achieve it is you take the three aspects of a print, which are size, color and then whether the print is graphic or floral and you make sure that the prints have two out of the three things in common so if they're both floral and they're both small florals then they can be really different color schemes if they're both black and white and they're both graphic then you can have one that's really big and one that's really small here we've got two graphic prints that are the same size and that's why it's okay that there's green white and blue you're welcome. Work, work, fashion baby. Wait, how does it go? I don't know. I would buy this. If it was if it was on if it was in the Salvation Army and it was five dollars. It's like a TikTok thing. One, two, three. Okay. Whoa, magic! Harry oh, Potter. <laughs> that I think is gonna be too small for me. It just fits you so perfectly. But it's shoulders. kind of I feel like with um with lace eyelet fabric like this, that's like the thing that always happens. This is like very flattering but boring. I wish I had printed it. I mean, it's like, come on, there are things like this on offer. Come on. Come on. I feel the, the quality is disappointing me on this. If the fabric were really high quality, like even if it were something like real heavyweight silk satin or even cotton, even like a really nice cotton, even though that would make it less drapey, it would feel really high end, but it actually doesn't. It feels kind of like cheapy peepy to me. And I know it's not. I think it was supposed to be kind of expensive, so I'm against it. <laughs> I feel like that looks really good on you. It's not as small. I was expecting it to feel way too small yeah. based on how it looked on you. And it it doesn't, um, oh, but- it's cute. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's wearable. I like that idea Holy. of it, but. I do not like it in fact. I think that it does look really good on you though. And I don't think the sagginess, it doesn't look like your body is saggy under there. No. It just looks drapey. But drapey. I don't, yeah, drapey but not. Fashion. More fashion. Fashion from the front. Fashion from the back. Fashion from the side. So put them in order from like most favorite. Your mm -hmm. most favorite to least favorite, yeah. This is like, I bought it already, a lot of guys weren't like getting these two, I feel like. But it then it kind of like pops off precipitously. Because it's the only one you really love. It's the only one that I, yeah, it's the only one that I would even consider. These two fall into the like, things I might wear to teach kind of category, and they're kind of tied with each other actually. Yeah, yeah, this was just like, fun and silly, and, and so it likes that idea idea of, but not as much that execution, but yeah. was still within the realm of possibility of like a thing I would wear. This was like, nope. This I thought I was going to be all about because it's so my jam and then it really let me down and the jam made me sad. This is not good. <laughs> we have really similar, it's really similar. I actually feel like this um, is probably my top pick as well. I actually feel like it's more special. These are really great and would be easy to wear and I'm gonna spend more on them. This just it's just more of a standout piece. Yeah. So it's like the gem of the thing. But these I actually feel like are kind of all tied for me. If this was a medium, I would love to own it. I probably wouldn't spend a lot of money on it. I'd only buy it if it was like secondhand and if I had budget. The same is true of all three of these. Like I'd buy them in this condition at a really reduced rate and then I would love wearing them to keep. I just love that they're lightweight cotton. These are like garments that I I actually have not even tried if I'll wear them, except for, for filming. 
This, even if I, if someone gave it to me for free, I actually felt like my face looked bad when I was wearing it. I felt like this looked good, but it felt so yucky against my skin that I would be disinclined to wear it. And this just makes me, my soul sad. Thanks for doing this. This is so fun. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So that is it. That's the footage of Julia and me both trying on all of the clothes that came in my newly and having a grand old time. I believe that newly is supposed to be sending me a, a code, like a discount code, which is non-affiliated. Again, this is like not affiliated, not sponsored, none of that. They don't even know that I'm doing it, although I'll probably tell them that I did it and be like, Thank you for sending me the free the free month of newly it was really really fun but um you know i'm happy to pass along a code because if it's something that you're interested in trying it's always nice to be able to try it with a discount especially the first time if you're not sure that it's something you'll like the main reason though that i wanted to film a quick little outro to this video is to say that isn't it interesting that there were a number of things in the newly that i just don't like that we don't like i feel like it says something about online shopping it says something about how well you know yourself and like the limits of one's ability to really understand what we're gonna like what we're gonna love what's gonna look good um i i don't really have like strong takeaways i just wanted to comment on that that's like you know of the pieces that i decided to rent there's a significant number of them like three at least maybe getting close to half that are really quite disappointing. So it's something to keep in mind when you get all worked up about something that you see online, a piece of clothing, even a piece of makeup, just to keep in mind that there are always gonna be hits and misses and you always need to maybe mitigate your behavior going into that, your shopping behavior, especially if something's not returnable or if it's makeup and even though you might be allowed to return it, it might then just go in the landfill. Mitigate your behavior with the, the knowledge that there's always going to be a limit to your understanding, uh, your confidence in how much you're going to love a thing if you are buying it without ever having seen it in person. And I guess the more relevant part when it comes to deciding if you're interested in clothing rental is to know that you know, you're paying the $88 a month or whatever it is, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're definitely going to have a whole box of things that you absolutely love wearing. There are often some misses along with the hits in a rental box like this as well. So you wanna take that into account when you're deciding whether or not it's something that's worth it to you. The other thing that's interesting is that I, I might buy this dress. I'm completely in love with it and it's totally out uh, it's like not my style it's interesting this dress is something that i would never have like bought from a picture like seeing the picture on the internet i would never have bought it but now that i've had it for a couple of days and i've like i've hated every moment that i've not worn it just to be really dramatic about it it's like i've worn it i think like two out of the three days since we filmed this video and the day that i was wearing something else which was yesterday i was like this is dumb i just want to wear that dress so it's good because i'm getting the chance to give it a trial run like to to notice whether or not i only like the idea of the thing or the thing itself i mean this is a, a situation in which i think that i like the idea of the thing less but the thing itself i really really love and usually with online shopping you go you don't get the chance to figure out what your relationship is with the idea of the thing, and then also figure out what your relationship is with the thing itself, and then make your decision based on all of that knowledge. You're really just making your decision based on the idea of the thing. So now that I've had a chance to spend some time with the thing itself, I actually think it's something that might fit very elegantly into my wardrobe. And also it's used, so um, it doesn't cost the amount that it would cost if i were to buy it new i'm not totally sure yet i might i might send it back but this might actually be the dress that i buy with my budget this month so stay tuned i'll be reporting back about that at the end of the month big thanks again to newly for offering me this opportunity it's just been really fun so far to wear this dress and i'm excited to wear most of the other things too thank you all for watching thank you julia for once again being a beautiful star participant on my channel and everybody out there, don't forget to take extra good care of yourself this week so that you can be the most effective version of yourself as you do your work in the world.